This stuff freaks me out. I was on the phone with somebody when this happened on speakerphone and they heard this as well. We didn't say anything that sounded like Alexa or anything else to set her off. She went off in the background and said heaven is spelled H-E-A-V-E-N. Hey alligators, what's up? It's Sally Hardesty, and today's video is going to be a follow-up video to my recent paranormal experience, haunted apartment ghost thing story that I talked about. Because a lot has happened since then, and I'm also going to be staging my apartment in this video and trying to get rid of the demon, because I do think that it is a demon. I don't really know exactly what defines the difference between a demon, a spirit, a ghost, but whatever it is, I think it's really, really bad, and I'm gonna explain why. It's been happening more frequently, the occurrences that have been happening, where it's been making little appearances and showing that it's here and also I had a medium summon the spirit and get rid of it which means there's another one here with me I don't know if it's attached to me attached to my apartment attached to something in this apartment but I do believe that it was brought with me from my last apartment I also do have a little bit of live footage that I'm going to add in here and this may sound a little bit confusing if you didn't watch the first video so I highly recommend that you go watch that and come back to this one if you don't know me I'm Allie nice to meet you you should definitely subscribe if you just got here you've never seen my face before because I make other videos specifically Besides just these sort of scary ones but if you're into that I also do have other paranormal experiences on my channel and this stuff genuinely terrifies me not because I'm scared of like the paranormal world because honestly you guys know I've dabbled with Ouija boards and just doing that kind of stuff this is just a very very different experience for me considering it is something that I have been living with and it has tried to touch me at this point this stuff freaks me out let me just start from the beginning I have a very good friend she's sort of like a medium you could say that's not her specialty but she does have connections to people who are mediums and she is a very intuitive person in that sense and knows a lot about the stuff and so of course I told her about the ghost experiences that I was having she told me she's like I do think that it is an older male ghost living in your home and that he doesn't want to be on camera and that's why all your equipment is being messed with that turned out to be confirmed because she contacted her medium friend she did this for me because we're friends and she wanted to help me get rid of it she watched the medium on Skype summon the ghost and he was in fact an older male and he was looking for his wife he didn't know he was was dead and he did not know me she asked him if he knew me he did not he just didn't like that I was renovating the house and he didn't want to be on camera like I stated in the last video which is why I think he's responsible for breaking my old ring light the brand new ring light I just got and messing with my camera which has never had problems in the way it did it was like literally malfunctioning and once she told him all of this and that his wife was waiting for him on the other side he left friend told me not to worry about it that it wasn't going to be an issue and that my apartment was no longer haunted that the entity had left I'm thinking everything's all good until I start experiencing more things and I go back to her text and she told me that it happened on a Sunday the experiences that I was having were after that day so there is still another entity in this apartment these experiences I've been having here have just become more and more frequent I don't know if it's trying to talk to me more now that its friend left because maybe both ghosts were cohabitating here together if that is possible I'm actually really scared to shower half the time because the spin brush in my shower goes off so frequently from this ghost. It's not leaning against anything. Nobody is pressing it, but it will go off and start spinning. And to make matters even creepier, the spin brush batteries don't work that well. So when I've been using it in my shower, I just use it and like when I turn it on, it does nothing. It doesn't work. But the ghost is able to turn it on. Like I almost feel like if I took out the batteries, it would still happen because it's a spirit doing this. And a lot of you may say, why don't you just get rid of the spin brush? I've considered that, but then I feel like it will use a different object in my home to show that it's there, whether it's my little robot vacuum cleaner, or I mean, it's already used my automatic sensory light mirror. And I don't want to deal with the unpredictability. Like I'd rather just know that the spin brush is haunted right now before I let it move to another object. One time, it was two days ago, I was taking a shower and I had a leave-in conditioner treatment, which you have to put in your hair for at least seven minutes. So I turned off the water. I don't know if you guys ever do this. I didn't turn off the water, but I mean, I plugged the tub. So like I was getting waterfall on while laying down in the bathtub and I heard a noise. And sure enough, I look up because there's a basket connected to the top of my shower where the spin brush lays and it was going off. So the ghost was in the shower with me as I was laying there completely naked in the bathtub. And when this happened, I felt like I couldn't get up. I don't know if that was because I was super scared or because I felt a presence, but I could see an aura by the shower. But again, that's hard to really be able to honestly say because I will be realistic when talking about all this. I'm not gonna be like, 
oh, that was paranormal because I was in the shower and there could have been steam and things like that. But I swear to God, the fact that this went off and I saw something and I felt paralyzed, like I couldn't get up, I was so terrified. That's not a natural reaction for me to not be able to get up. Also, I just want to point out that this has happened multiple times, not just the incident that I described. Around this time, this was happening to me pretty much every other day, whether I was in the bathroom or in the kitchen or in the shower. But this was just one of the more scary experiences because I felt paralyzed with fear and I felt like I saw something. And the next one I'm about to share with you guys is probably the scariest thing ever, like paranormal wise for me. I was on the phone with somebody when this happened on speakerphone and they heard this as well. Nobody said Alexa, nobody said Plexa, Rexa, Dexa, anything that would accidentally set her off because it sounded like Alexa. And Alexa said, heaven is spelled H-E-A-V-E-N. I had chills all down my spine. Not only did it randomly speak without being asked to speak, which it's done in the past, I'm like kind of used to that, but it's more so the context of what she said. I'm filming a video right now, you're on speaker. Can you say out loud? Cause I want there to be like proof. I don't want anyone to think I'm making this up because I was on speaker with you on the phone when my Alexa went off and said what she did. Will you tell them what Alexa said? So we were on the phone. We didn't say anything that sounded like Alexa or anything else to set her off. And when we were talking, she went off in the background and said the word heaven and said heaven is spelled H-E-A-V-E-N. And that was it. Maybe the spirit, ghost, demon, whatever was trying to go to heaven. So maybe by speaking through Alexa, it thought that it would get directions there because it's like stuck, I don't know. Also, Alexa will randomly light up as if she's listening to you when we don't say her name. I don't know if this is a part of like the Alexa, like that's a common thing, but I'm gonna insert a clip of when this started to happen. I tried to take a video of it. So right now she's just spinning. What? Okay, the second I started recording, the light went off and she was just spinning by herself for like a while, the light just spinning. Whatever this is, does not want to be on camera. This is probably worse than both of those. As I mentioned in the last video, there was a time in my last apartment right before moving out where my hair was swept over my face in the middle of the night and I wasn't moving, I didn't have a fan on, nothing else could have done that, like something was touching my head and that's a very bad sign. And I think that this is too what I'm about to tell you. I went to sleep and I sleep in a very specific position. I sleep on my stomach, laying flat with my hands like this and my head facing to the right. I don't sleep with a pillow. I'm not normally somebody who moves around and things like that. I don't even wake up to my alarms. Like that's how deep I sleep. So based off of what I did, which I'm about to tell you, I believe that something caused me to have this sort of reaction. I woke up at three in the morning because I had knocked over an entire full tall glass of water on my nightstand. It went all over my calendar, all over my clock. Thankfully it did not get on my laptop. And I knocked it over because I punched, like I whacked something in my sleep as if something was trying to attack me, something was trying to hurt me. I had a presence like coming over me. I felt claustrophobic and I tried to like push it off and like get it away from me and doing so, I spilled the water everywhere. So I woke up and I was super pissed and I had to grab a towel and wipe everything up. And I had a really unsettling feeling in my stomach. Like I wasn't having a nightmare or anything that would like cause me to think I was being attacked in a dream and like fight back. It wasn't like that. I remember my dreams when I wake up very vividly. And I'm somebody who used to have really bad night terrors, like wake up screaming. I know what that feels like and I, wasn't even dreaming about anything. That's just my intuition speaking out because like your body naturally reacts. Like if you think someone's touching you, you don't want it to. And I'm sleeping on my stomach. So I got up and like knocked something away from me. So that means it was probably coming near my head. Also, I don't know if this has any significance. My dad was recently visiting me from Ohio because he was helping me renovate the apartment. And when he was here, I kind of like mentioned to him that it was like haunted. Like he knew I was posting a video about it like around the time that he was here because I had pre-filmed it. And he kind of like laughed because I don't really think he believes in paranormal stuff. I'm into all this kind of stuff and like have experienced it and my family is all just like, I don't know. They let me do the Ouija board in their house. So they don't think it's real. And so when he was here, nothing happened. And so I was kind of like, okay, maybe it's not that big of a deal. Maybe I can coexist with this thing and it's not evil and like I'm being dramatic. Not that I was being dramatic with anything I said, but what I'm trying to say is that it calmed down when my dad was here. My dad, he's very, very religious. He had a Bible open on the table the entire time he was here. And I don't know if that would be something that would like ward it away. So ever since I've had a Bible on my table too, but like when he left, like it, showed itself even with the Bible. So maybe my dad is just like a really strong religious spiritual energy that like it can't touch. And I'm a born again Christian. Like I was baptized. I've been saved. I believe in God and all that kind of stuff. So like, I don't know. I don't read the Bible every single day like my dad and I'm not as religious as him and things like that. And my dad also has definitely never done an Ouija board or like tried to summon something. <laughs> I'm living with it and I feel like it's always watching me and it probably is always watching me and listening to me. And I've threatened it and I've told it, if you mess with me again, I'm gonna sage the apartment 
apartment. I'm gonna get rid of you. I'm gonna sage you out of here. I'm really hoping this goes away, and if it doesn't, then I'm gonna get a priest up in here. Like, I'm gonna do everything possible. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Comment below letting me know your thoughts. Subscribe if you are new here. Turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box. Have it twice to receive all my notifications. Follow me on social media. I will have those links for you guys on the screen. I also have a Patreon if you guys want unseen footage, exclusive photo shoots, private Snapchat, etc. That'll be linked below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.